Good evening, Steve Walski uh, from Greenbrook Country Club. I hope you're all doing well today, uh, or as well as can be inspected uh, in these troubling times. Um, the team and I at Greenbrook are doing a few of these fun clips uh, to hopefully help uh, ease the stress while you're at home. Um, I know Andrew already did a, uh, a golf video that you may have seen already. I'm gonna do a little, uh, a little uh, pasta. Um, so like any good cook, start with a glass of wine. Um, I'd like to have a nice little Chianti to go with this, but I'm trying to uh, stay as home as much as possible, so I have a nice little Pinot Noir. Uh, so we'll start off with uh, uh, cheers and to everybody's good health. This pasta comes together really quick, very simple, very few ing ingredients. Uh, spaghetti, I actually have bucatini, a little bit thicker of a pasta. Um, I like it a little al dente, so I'll cook it a little quicker, uh, shorter I should say. Uh, finely grated, really good uh, Pecorino Romano, olive oil, salt, pepper, and a little heavy cream. Using heavy cream instead of uh, butter, it just helps with the, the emulsification a little bit better. So as the water comes to a boil, I'm going to add the uh, salt. With this dish, um, use a lot less water. I'm only using two quarts of water to uh, one pound of pasta. Uh, I want that starch. That starch is going to help um, emulsify this dish. So I'm going to get the pasta in here. Um, you'll have to kind of continue uh, to stir this as it goes along because there is not that much water. So um, continue to stir it. I'm going to do that. Water's coming to a boil. Pasta's in. Uh, water is salted and I'll be right back with you as this uh, pasta finishes up. As you can see the pasta is boiling away here. Again keep it moving. Uh, so it doesn't stick together because again, there's not too much water in here. Okay, the pasta is done. Told you that was pretty quick. So I'm going to strain this uh, through a colander, and there's a bowl underneath of it to catch the pasta water. So I want to I want to reserve some of that water. So there's the pasta. Drain through. That can hang there for a second. I'm going to reserve a uh, about cup and a cup and a half of uh, pasta water. I can discard the rest of that. Pasta can go back in there. Hold on for just one second. All right, so I'm going to take that reserved pasta water um, and I'm going to whisk in about a cup of it. I have a cup and a half here, but I'm only going to put in a cup of it so far. This is going to. Uh, Start the sauce, get that all going, see how the cheese melts right away. You don't want it to be too thick. Rest of the ingredients go in, a little olive oil, a little heavy cream. I don't have as many uh, helpers as a regular chef in the kitchen does, but I think I'm managing okay. Uh, and then uh, another star ingredient is the pepper. So that is our sauce. That's pretty, uh, pretty simple, as I said. So now the pasta um, we were holding on the side is ready to, ready to roll. I'm gonna add some of this sauce, um, actually all of this sauce. Uh, as a matter of fact, I don't wanna waste any of it. I want to uh, scrape it all out with a spatula so I don't miss any of it, because it's really good. There it is. And then we'll mix this together. Um, also, it's good, always good to have some um, sauce, uh, some cheese, uh, Pecorino Romano on the side, uh, so you can add to it. So um, we'll just plate this up, and we'll be uh, should be ready to roll. And there you go, Cassio e Pepe. Thank you, and uh, I hope everybody stays well, safe, and happy. Um, we'll be with you uh, again with another fun video. Just a little behind the scenes, I am eating this uh, standing up in my kitchen. Um, may not be the healthiest thing, but certainly uh, some great comfort food. I also ran three miles today, so I can justify it. Uh, stay healthy. We'll talk soon.